and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Legends of Runeterra. Let's get back at it. We got five decks today. We got standalone midrange as our only deck that we've played before and then four new ones after this. Um, the standalone midrange, um, there, there is definitely like a standalone aggro, more aggressive version of this that plays Lucian instead of Fiora and all the Relentless Pursuits, all the Solitary Monks, and you know, is, is, is more aggressive at finish the game out. But this one was a viewer submitted list that I really enjoyed and um, want to get back into it. Uh, we, you know, we have uh, Fiora in here, plus we have Judgment, so we definitely win some games on Judgment. Remember last time Judgment was incredible for us. Um, hey, JRC. Um, and uh, we have, uh, we added in the health potions that we didn't have last time, added those in. Um, at the end of, uh, like, whenever we play, we talked about how Health Potion would have been really nice over uh, Chain Vest and, and Radiant Strike sometimes. And so we got those in to be able to heal our creature. Because this this uh, deck's all about playing one creature and then playing standalone to give it plus three, plus three, and then have that creature take over. So standalone's our most important card to see in our opening hand, more so than any other card. Um... And so that's the card that we want to be mulliganing for. All right. Well, let's play some games. We're going to go standalone. Let's see. What do we got for a guardian and a board? Let's get the Hall of Valor and the Snapper. All right. Let's get started. Uh, not that I, I mean, not that I know of. Any cards leaked yet? Not that I know of. JRC, did you check out the, the stream yesterday? Resident Evil? Three stream yesterday. Check out that one. But yeah, we we finally got the the news uh, for the release date. Uh, the Legends of Runeterra are going to be released in 23 days, April 28th. All right, we got standalone. Most important thing, we're gonna get rid of, gonna get rid of these two. We'll have Zed standalone, and now we want more things to protect our Zed. Wraith. Awesome. Yeah, those were a lot of fun yesterday. So we're gonna get we're gonna have Legends of Runeterra on mobile. We're gonna have 120-ish new cards. In the darkness. Perfect. Love attacking on turn three. Yeah, we're going all in. Get him, Zed. That'd be very bad if they had a repost. Random. Like, that'd be... And that would be devastating if that reposed. Yeah, we played through the entire game yesterday, Valentino. Yeah, the the whole thing. Start to finish. For the honor of my house. So yeah, if you want to see the, the entire game, uh, that's on the channel. But no, I agree. It does look incredible. Um... Me going down to eight. Basically, do I want to block with the Zed or not? I think we can. We'll have repost now. Relentless Pursuit is our best draw. Where we get where we get to rally and attack again. B 
But yeah, the game the game looks incredible. Would y'all want me to play Resident Evil 2 Remake on stream also? Because I do have that now. It, it came out last year, but it's basically, the, you know, it's the same kind of game. Um, but it's, you know, Resident Evil 2. Oh, I did tough? I meant to do Radiant Strike. Whoops. Well. Did the wrong one. Such unrefined style. I pity you. Like my blade. I feel like this is a mistake by me. Well, to be honest, I did. I meant to do the just. I didn't mean to use the tough, and so then it kind of changed my plan. Basically, vile, uh, vile feast, and I'm in a lot of trouble. But it's just kind of how it is. Um, I still have like the Fiora. That I guess that, that then I'll be looking to try to win with the Fiora. What's up, Moonlight? Alright, next time do RE2. Alright. Alright, well that's... Good news that this isn't... I wish I didn't use the top. I wish I clicked the correct card. Blech. This is not a good hand. Do not deny me. This is not good. I mean, I, I mess it up, of course. Can't allow them to attack with we can't allow them to attack with a femoral creature. Man, I I, I messed this game up. These these last few draws haven't helped me at all because I can't I can't play any of these things. But uh, I can't do anything to to win to stay alive right now. I need to single combat and kill this so they can't attack with it so they don't bring back other sharks. But if I do that, then the priority goes back to them and they attack for eight and kill me. So I, I can't play any of these first, because then if, if I play any of these, then the priority goes to them and they attack and kill me. Alright, well that was definitely a winnable game. That I messed up, but... Um... 
We also did not draw well at all. Those four cards we just couldn't couldn't play. But I mean, I could have played those earlier, and that's that's what it, that's like. That's the thing is, I need to play those earlier. I could have. Also. I needed to use the Relentless Pursuit to pick up my Laurent Blade Keeper and use that that as a blocker. But then, like, and I would have done that if I wouldn't have used the tough, but then after I used my tough, then I used the repost instead. And that basically that that turn just lost me that game. Looked on the wrong card. Oh well. New game. This looks pretty good. The problem, like the hand looks good. The problem is they're an Ezreal Heimerdinger deck. Like this is definitely a hand that would be better as Zed than as Fiora. The other thing is they are a they're a, a Will of Ionia deck, and Will of Ionia is going to be the card that's going to be the problem. What you looking for? What we have here. Oh, what do we get? Save your world. We speak with blades. Pretty difficult. Obviously, like the obvious play is to play standalone and make this a six-six, and then and try to eat their thing. But the problem with that play is they have the four mana. They have a lot of removal spells. They kill my Fiora. So instead, I'm going to go with this play, like where we block with standalone, and we still have some mana for protection. They have more mana for removal, but. Um, I like this instead. The order rewards its faithful. Let them eat so. Try me. that blade keeper left at the end of last turn. Imminently logical. Relentless pursuit. Everything is not safe. Not from Fiora. Not safe at all. Two of these three one elusives for free. It's pretty good. But all we need is Fiora to kill one more one more thing and stay alive. And we win. 
And their Heimerdinger is now out of here, even though it got them two free three ones. Okay. If they tap out, if they just play a six mana spell and just tap out, I don't know what that would be. We could repose single combat. And I think I just pass. I'm supposed to play Blade Keeper. No, I think I pass. The incentive's not really there for them to do anything. I need 11 mana and I have 10 to be able to repost, Blade Keeper, Radiant Strike, and Single Combat. That's why I like uh, like this, this time would be, you know, if we just had the three mana barrier instead of the four mana one. We really don't need that. Plus three. Ionia is annoying. I could have gone for the win with the repose single combat, but they absolutely have something to do damage to me. Either like, you know, do, do damage to the Fiora to break the barrier. Absolutely do. That's just not... It's not worth it. Take from the reach, keep to me. Oh, girl! Don't be calling no enforcers. Got eight mana. Deny. I need you before. For that will of Ionia. Um. Take six. Go down to five. That that is actually pretty close to dying. That is pretty close to dying. From burn spells. I'm gonna try to just single combat these. This deck's a difficult one to sequence. Alright. 
So I can repost this and then attack. And I make two eight power attackers. And you know, I have the Fiora eat that. They would need two interaction spells for them because then I'd, I'd have to deny for one also. I think I'd do this. I think this is worth it. They basically have to have like two like Will of Ionias or like a Will of Ionia plus a deny. Right, this thing doesn't get the barrier also. As I but still, yeah, there we go. Alright. GG's. Back at it. 101, okay. We're getting back into the swing of things now. So I'd have a big, so we make a big shadow assassin. Try that. And round. Okay, or it's fewer time. Yeah, fewer time. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. So the obvious play is to attack and deal three, and I'm sure that's what my opponent wanted to do. I'm sure they wanted me to attack and then play. they were going to play something after attacks. By not attacking, it's just three damage, which which if I'm like kind of planning on a Fiora kill, the three damage doesn't really matter. But then they don't get to... Um, Nothing to hold me back. They don't get to play anything that turn. So they just had to waste three mana that they didn't get to use. All right, doing. I'm playing the standalone first, so that then we can play Zed. Do not fear the shrouded path. Just have the one mana, but I, you know, I have like the radiant strike for the one mana. I never. Oh God. Well, that a good, good card to draw. Get him, Zed. I fight for the fallen. Hmm. Got three mana left. So my best upside play is play pursuit and then barrier Fiora and Fiora. You know, like they don't gain life. Um. The only problem with that is like if they have their own barrier, I guess. I think that's the only problem with that. Or if they like frostbite. Strike quickly, strike death line. Strike without worry. Another victory. Sweet, but the upside is if they don't have anything like that they are dead. winning games is a very high upside that's for sure. that's a, there's not really a higher upside than winning games okay we are um We're off to a good start. You know, rebounded after our first game. And 
Getting used to playing Legends of Runeterra again. Back into the swing of things. Swift Justice. All right. Discard aggro. Uh, we need a we need a creature. So how much of the stuff can we keep? Probably none of it. Let's just let's mulligan. We want to need a creature, and we also need standalone. So we had no creatures nor standalone. So just mulligan it all. This isn't a good start. <laughs> no, folks, not not planning to. Legend of Runeterra release is okay, later this month. I hope this works. And you know, we'll have a new set, we'll have mobile. Um, you know, some big stuff with that. And, and so, no, I haven't I haven't been thinking about MTG at all, honestly. It's Draven time. I haven't been missing it. Let's see. What's up, Arrow? We're in a bad spot here, though. It's not good. No standalone. No Fiora. No Zed. No win. I'll do better this time. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. Uh. You cannot escape. Basically, no matter what I do, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. me going right now this is me going down to eight ooh discarded a decimate now this is me going down to six but we got a decimate out of their hand whenever this thing dies it deals two damage to us and of course obviously we have to kill it so we're gonna be taking two damage from that Whenever this thing attacks, it does two damage to us. That's another thing we'll take two damage from. Um, but we have the health potion to heal us three. that thing so we don't take the two whenever it attacks. Ugh. Definitely scared of more decimates. Have they just discarded one? So I wanted to play Zed here, but obviously we can't play Zed because they just block and kill me. So basically I'm at three. I have to block the Grenadier. Oh wait, I had, oh no, I didn't have deny mana available. Let's say, deny, okay. Deny is good to have. It's good to have. For the honor of my house. Let's make it deep. So we're going down to one. Oh no! Oh, I have to cast the health potion first. What am I doing? <laughs> right, they, they're not going to just go to attack. I just, you know, assume they're going to go to attacks and I'll cast it then. They just don't go to attacks. They just click OK and... Ugh. So would we have killed them? No, I would have had seven mana. I think that was turn seven. I don't think I was going to be able to double repost. 
Ugh. Hey, same moi. Yeah, there really is no margin for error with this deck. No, you you were right. You're right. There's no margin for error at all. And uh, yeah, you make any mistakes. A true Felurian welcome. We traded two for two, but unfortunately, you know, we traded our standalone away. Oh, no, we didn't even trade two for two. We traded two for one. That's right. Their thing doesn't even die. Gosh, that repost is... That is mean. I am the blade in the darkness. Okay. Undying Demacia give challengers to your... To, the, like, the, the things that can't block. Give them challenger. I like that. That's pretty cool. We had a, like we have a um, we have a Demacia Shadow Isles deck here today with War the next one War Mother's um, War Mother's Tiana. Feels like my opponent may do the same thing. Please control. Barrier this thing again. Stay back. If they do, uh, I'll have my own barrier. Zed. If it's a fight they want, embrace the shadows. So they either have they either have a repost in hand if it's another Fiora, or they have, um, or they have it an Ash in hand. Looks like they just pass to me. If I play Blade Keeper, I don't have repost protection for this. So if they have a repost, then they kill my. Zegs, and I don't even have Twin Disciplines protection or anything, so I'm just gonna pass. Alright, back to me. Ten mana. If I play this now, we'll have six mana. So we'll have one of Twin Disciplines, Repose, Deny, and two Radiant Strikes. Yeah, we can 
can handle that. First, first trick. It's just tricks back and forth. Alright, so that was Fiora's Repose, so that looks like that was their challenger. Um, I think I, I'll just go with the Twin Disciplines plus zero plus three. No, we'll just go with our own Repose. Yeah, has yeah radiant radiant guardian in that kind of deck. Yeah, uh, yeah, I do think the radiant guardian is is really good in those uh, Demacia Shadow Isle decks because those Shadow Isle decks really struggle against. Um, uh, they can really struggle against aggressive decks because how they can't block, so they can struggle racing. But if you have yeah, Radiant Guardian really, you know, helps you stabilize and everything. I think that's... Uh, yeah, I do think that, that is perfect there. This is not when we want to be drawing solitary monk after you know in the in the late game when we already have creatures this is this is a really good turn three card not a good turn eight card when you have a large creature you've been buffing a bunch Yeah, I like I like that idea. Same well, like that that sounds pretty good. That sounds like a good combination for sure. So I'm just going straight to attacks, but honestly, maybe I should play Fiora first. I don't know. I like going straight to attacks. I'll stop you. Such unrefined style. Your move. Play both of these to keep Zed alive. It is worth it. Zed is better than both of those, even if it's a 6 1 Zed. Yeah, I was looking at like I was looking at different decks today, and that's that's what we got like some new decks today. But um, been looking at some decks today, and it did seem like or like Demacia Shadow Isles is really becoming a popular combination of regions. Saw so a good good amount of different Demacia Shadow Isles decks. Um, the Lux Aristocrats one we're playing is Demacia Shadow Isles, and then uh, we'll try another with. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Should I? Oh, should I have played the monk here? Um, I should have played the monk here and picked this up, shouldn't I? Can't fight on an empty stomach. No, I guess not. Okay, that's great. I thought for sure they were just gonna kill my Zed. They just didn't do it. That's great.
great top deck with the riposte. Perfect. They must have just drawn that single combat that turn, right? Otherwise, they would have just casted the, the turn before after I denied. Hey, we get a capsule. Let's check out this epic capsule we got. Okay, we got an epic wild card. And some shards. Very nice. All right, but anyway, there's there's our standalone mid range. Um, didn't it was? We definitely played different games than what we played the last time that we played this. You know, the last time that we played this, uh, I think we were like four and one, and and we won like three of the four on the back of judgment. Um, but yeah, both both games that I lost were both very close games that I, uh, you know, I, I could have taken some different sequencing decisions. Very yeah, it's it's a difficult deck to sequence and. So like yeah, one yeah. So it's a difficult deck to sequence, and it's a razor thin margin for error. Basically, no margin for error. Um, so that's you know that that can make some some games tough. Like if you you know if you have like a bad turn, you're losing. Like you can't have like bad turns. Um, like we're play play the wrong things and you know all that kind of stuff. Um, but with that being said, it is very powerful. It is you know it's a very fast deck and uh it's very very good and very hard to stop like if you you have a good hand you play it well you're going to be winning against anything it doesn't matter what your opponent's playing you you're going to be beating anything with uh standalone zed standalone fiora that kind of stuff um yeah so that's that's it so there's the the standalone mid-range deck fun one to play it is because you know the games are the games are intense like they're fa they're fast um and they're intense and uh yeah you get to do a lot of attacking and a lot of attacking with huge huge threats and that's fun too the health potion so sad uh yeah that yeah that health potion game that we had that was a sad game for sure that i didn't cast my health potion and so we died when i had a health potion in hand that would have kept us alive yeah that was my bad <laughs> I thought we were going to cast it during combat and they just went to end step to kill me. Smart enough. All right. Um, first deck of the day. Su success. Uh, recommend this deck. And those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave a comment. You know, comment about anything about like, you know, the release that's coming up here in 23 days about the deck. Anything like that. But that's it here for standalone mid-range, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.